My name is Wallery Kotlick. I go by Wally. I am a Mason foreman. I have done this for 15 years and I work for LG Evans. So normally I set my days up the day before or a week before so we know what we have to do for the day. So we get here in the morning, 7 o'clock, the guys already get set up. They have all their materials lined up, any concrete that may be coming. And then my day just consists of making sure everybody has what they need. So it really depends on what part of masonry you want to get into. We have our structural walls, we have our flat work crews, we have our mason crews which involves black work, brick work, uh, veneer stone. But generally to start off for, you'd be running like the cement mixer for the black masons. You'd be setting the black up for them, getting them all the materials, any water that they need. If you're on the structural crew you'd be moving Simon's panels, you know, two by fours, lumber. We form all our own footers, so we're pounding stakes, uh, pulling string lines, making measurements. Because one, you can only get get it one time. You can't move the footer after it's in, and the whole building from is based on the very start, the very footer. Uh, I went to Bosey's in Flint to, I took heavy equipment conservation class. I wanted to be an equipment operator and I was doing that and I didn't like sitting all day. So the masons needed help and that's been all uphill from there. Uh, at the end of the day, to look back and see what you built, it's a great sense of accomplishment. So my responsibilities are to make sure the guys have enough work for a full day, a full week, and to manage the time frame of the project. Our customer has expectations in regards to deadlines of the uh, carpenter starting, drywaller starting. So even though I'm working on a project today, I have to maintain a schedule for two to three months. Uh, any paperwork that comes in, which every delivery truck that pulls in the driveway. I have to cost code and properly bill it back to the job so we can then back charge a customer for those materials. If you don't have your paperwork, it doesn't, doesn't ever end up. Um, the customer has job meetings once a week and they want to know that I'm set up ahead of time that I have met all my deadlines from the previous week. Um, any injuries that may occur, I have to fill out paperwork, document, and report that, both for my company and for OSHA. Scheduling delivery of materials is a big one, especially in summertime, it's hard to get concrete deliveries. With the right concrete design. So mix. starting out, uh, basic greenhorn, not knowing anything, right out of school, you're going to basically be between $15, $16 an hour, you know, which just a little bit above minimum wage. And then we do, after three months, an evaluation process. And that three months gives us time to find out what your skill set is, what you're good at, what you enjoy. And a lot of guys I'll hire, they'll start off as black masons and you know they decide they don't like it but they love the flat work crew so we adjust what their job is which reflects your pay. Uh, foreman any you know you can make anywhere from $18 up to the very high end would be probably 30. I like the accomplishment of being able to look at what we've built you know see it come from when we show up on a job, the land has just been cleared, the site's been stripped, and there's basically nothing on it. Uh, and then when I walk away after doing the final curbs, the final sidewalks, then that's right before it gets turned over to the customer. So that's pretty close to your final product. And just to see the before and the after pictures, I, I really enjoy that. That is one of the big challenges. Uh, we work rain, snow, sleet, hail, shine, just like the postman. 
unless it's downpouring or you know several feet of snow there's generally we try to stay busy and you know you got a hole five feet deep in the ground and it rains overnight you better have some mud boots in the morning. Boarding. Most rewarding, most significant projects I've worked on is a Frank Lloyd Wright House here in Rochester. We did a complete rehab and rebuild. Uh, Frank Lloyd Wright never got the opportunity to finish the job through per his plans. The new owner that took it over did account or did complete the project. So as a historical building that was preserved and kept all 100% original. I would think that would be my, my most rewarding project. Uh, so right now, me as a foreman, I am running two different jobs. This one here and then the other one. The other job I'm running has five mini jobs inside of it, which means I'll have five different masonry crews on that one job site in addition to the ones I have here. If I don't know what my guys are doing and they don't communicate to me what they're doing, that's when everything starts to fall apart. So communication is huge between us as boss to employee and employees to customers. So any technology classes that are available, uh, a lot of things are going to online. Even out here in the field, we have tablets now that we enter all our information. Uh, there's apps that we use on a daily basis. Um, any, I went to BOCES, that, that's another great local program. And every location calls it a little something different. It was heavy equipment conservation where I was, and they taught you the masonry. They taught you running the equipment, so you can get a generalized idea of everything that goes on on a job site on a daily basis. Math is uh, another good one. Uh, pay attention in math class because it does affect your daily operations. Uh, so my interviews, I like to give my interview a tape measure and ask for a specific measurement out here inches and quarters and sixteenths they all make differences. I guess I would have to say be prepared to work hard you know the harder you work now the less hard you'll have to work later on you know try to try to move up try to advance. Uh, we're looking forward to getting some some young blood out here in the field and teach teach the guys and girls coming up um, Masons are a dying breed out, you know, in the world, it's, it's a fact, so the work's not going away, they're constantly building, constantly growing, and you can't do any of it without a foundation.